Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder, Marketing Master Jim Ackerman here, and welcome to Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, YouTube's only interactive two-way business building program where you get to hone your marketing skills so you can get more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible. And you are in a transition right now. We're moving to a new and improved format for Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads where you'll get some instant gratification. But first, we have to clean up a loose end from our last episode. As you may recall, if you've been a fan and a frequent visitor to the program, what we have done in the past is show you an advertising specimen, give you a week to comment on it, and then come back and show you that same specimen again with my take on whether it's good, bad, or ugly, not from an aesthetics point of view, but from a marketing point of view. In other words, did it get the prospect to buy the product or at least take the next step in the buying process? I'm about to show you the last uh, specimen that we worked on and uh, give you my take on it, but then we're going to give you a new specimen and give you an instant opportunity to find out whether it's good, bad, or ugly. So, with that in mind, here's a look at our last specimen. This is a uh, number seven invitation size envelope. It is ink jetted. It does have a return address and it's bulk mail sent. When we open it up, we are opening it up to find a collection of several cards. Wanted, 31 people. Does that sound familiar? Similar to our last specimen as well, to try new wireless hearing aid technology. Interesting, a different hearing aid company with a somewhat different approach, although there are similarities. The second card says when and where, five days only, next week only, and tells where they're to be found. There's a third card that says huge savings, and a fourth card that says don't miss this opportunity, and it goes to a fifth card that says we want you to try the same hearing aids Lavelle Trust. And once again, Lavelle is on the photograph. All right, so what do you think? Was it good, bad, or ugly from a marketing perspective? Well, I think this one would go a good to good minus. Uh, it's got some things in its favor. The fact that it had a bulk stamp on it was not a good idea. The envelope, although the size of an invitation kind of screamed commercial, don't you think? People will be wary of those kinds of things and are less likely to open it. So from that perspective, I can't say it was ugly, but it certainly wasn't good. When you open it up, the collection of cards is in fact quite intriguing and much better executed than their previous effort, which was a straight letter. It, it has uh, the intrigue of going through several different concepts and ideas, it gave them an opportunity to present several different headlines. So again, overall, the master's take is good with a little bit of hesitation, you know, good minus to bad plus. Now let's talk about another advertising specimen. This one was sent in by one of our subscribers and uh, gives us an opportunity to take a look at one of the ads that you might deal with in your business as well. And we want to encourage you to send in your own ads or other ads that you think are noteworthy for us to critique on the program. This one happens to be a straightforward, odd shape postcard. This is the kind of thing that is done in every door direct mail from the post office and from a jeweler in the greater Seattle area. Take a look at this. It says, win two free tickets Seahawks versus the Buccaneers game day Sunday, November 3rd. Well, folks, if you're a football fan in the greater Seattle area, and particular, in particular, if you are a Seahawks fan, our current Super Bowl champions, this would have been a pretty intriguing offer to get you to at least look at the other side of the card. And so let's do that right now. Let's look at the other side of the card and what is being advertised. It says sale. 
You know, that is technically a feature, but when people see the word sale, what comes to mind? Bring this card to Garland Jewelers and enter to win. That is the subhead. And then it gives you some additional information about the event that they're having. You tell me, pause the TV and make yourself a determination. Is this postcard good, bad, or ugly from a marketing perspective? Pause the video now and make your determination. Okay, we're back, and I'm going to give you the master's take on what, whether this is good, bad, or ugly. First of all, the offer is pretty strong, but there are some challenges. If you look at when a postcard comes in the mail, you don't know which side they're going to see first. They may see this side first, and if they do, they'll be intrigued enough in most cases to take a look at the other side. But when you look at the other side, the promise, the big promise, does not necessarily jump out at you anywhere near as well as it did on the other side. So the question is, does the message here come across as well? And I don't think it does. A tip for you when you're doing postcards is make sure your big promise is clearly evident and easy to find on both sides of the card because you don't know which side of the card the customer is going to see first. If they see this first, they're likely to look at the other side and read. If they see this first, they may not look at the other side and it may not be necessary. The problem is they may not read far enough to determine what the offer really is. On the other hand, the offer is very strong. It does say sale up there and it talks about the opportunity to save money as well as to potentially win the Seahawks tickets. The only other problem with contests like this or sweepstakes like this is the idea of having only one winner. Somebody is going to win the free tickets, but there's no second prizes. The mentality of people who look at this is, gee whiz, I never win those things. It probably isn't worth trying. And they don't take action because they don't think there's a chance. It's always good to have a collection of second and third prizes or even an everybody wins kind of an offer to make people believe it is worth me going down there and giving it a try anyway. Concept, excellent. Execution, not so much. I'm giving this a bad plus to a good minus. And that's the master's take on this episode of Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads. Don't forget to join us next time when we will present another ad specimen and you'll get to determine whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly from a marketing perspective before you get the word from yours truly, the marketing master. Now, subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends. Together, we'll hone our skills to become better at bringing in more customers who will pay us more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible, right here on Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads.